gentlemen welcome back to the podcast my name is jorge paharis joining me live from virginia is boy my roland. boy roland courtesy of diplomacy clothing our sponsor for each and every off the bench episode until totally shout out to diplomacy clothing yeah check out our both our instagrams and get the links there you get the links in the youtube description definitely go check them out so roll well, let me ask you something you know, with this virus going around, this this let, let's let, let's let's think of something that hasn't been named the 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 beer the beer virus <laughs> the beer. has been going around. It's WWE COVID-19, decided, you know, with all these the St. Patrick's Day parades being canceled, the bars being closed Olympics. down, everything pretty much mm-hmm. seemingly closed down that isn't a supermarket. Vince McMahon thought, let's just have let's just have it, but in two days. And pre-record WrestleMania. Mania. Now, in a previous episode, I mentioned how ridiculous it was that it's not canceled. And how it's still happening. And it's doing it at the Performance Center in Orlando. Now, rumors are saying that all the superstars involved in WrestleMania are locked Mm -hmm. down in the Orlando Hotel for WrestleMania. And then more rumors are coming out that some have been confirmed by WWE that players, guys like Undertaker and The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, aren't going to have matches. They're going to have cinematic experiences as a match. So it's going to be more That's of a movie style. Now, at this point, I'm. if you don't have the face Roland has for the YouTube viewers, then, then, <laughs> then you, must, you must be a mark because this is all bad news. Just you don't even need to look at the card because the card for no. if, you're, if you're telling me you're going to split into two days, you're going to pre-record it. No fans in attendance, by the way. No fans no, in attendance, which is what makes WrestleMania WrestleMania. By the way, well, like, honestly, there's no WrestleMania without fans. WrestleMania makes the WrestleMania is awesome because of the set designs, the fan energy that's there that's usually from all over the world, world that, like you world. don't usually see at a Raw or SmackDown or any other pay-per-view. Fun fact for our viewers, we tried to make plans to go to this year's WrestleMania. We did. We tried. And, of course, of course, the beer uh, came came uh, in our way. <laughs> it down. So <laughs> this this is this seems like a terrible idea to me. It's apparently going to be free on the network. But just a few weeks before the, the, the beer virus came into effect, they were talking about putting it on Fox like a Super Bowl. And I think... I think this is just all bad news. This is all bad news. It is. Um, Vince McMahon is just proving why he just really needs to step away. And his time with the company is kind of dwindling down here. Um, I don't think it's smart in general to do a show that, like, er, it's not like anyone would have fault the company for pushing back their schedule. You know? Like, if you say, hey, we have to postpone things even if they went into a full blown lockdown where as crazy as it's saying, like we didn't have a Raw or SmackDown, you know? Understand that we have to oh, we got a pandemic on our hands and we can't, not only we can skip the WrestleMania calendar, we can't skip WrestleMania. So it's not like I can say we can just not do the event. You ha- you just have to postpone the event. Yeah. Um which I think makes sense. Um but it's clear that Vince is like, no, we're doing this now, and we're doing it in the performance center. No fans, pre-recorded, and people like Undertaker, who is probably the most polarizing figure of WWE's time, and obviously the WrestleMania icon, is not having a match, but he's going to have like a movie theater-like promo, essentially. Essentially, it'll, it'll be a match, but it'll be more of like a, a movie, a uh, film like a movie, as they said. We're gonna be watching Star Wars. 
<laughs> and and the and the theme of the match apparently is, is a is a boneyard match, not a graveyard match, a boneyard match. I don't know what that, what the fuck a boneyard match is. And apparently, and, on, on and I this... hope it's not in WWE 2K21. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, I don't know. I don't know why AJ Styles on on the past Monday Night Raw said that it's Undertaker's favorite match. Favorite match, and he's never been in. It. And he's... <laughs> this whole thing is just. It, it's just, and, and you could imagine. Could you imagine the money? They WWE could be reeling in if they did it during the summer. Because look, look at every other. Company, no. look at Bro. the NBA is thinking of pushing the league into August. Could you August. imagine an August time NBA finals? Fine. Finals, hot summer, bro. Bro, bro. bro I'd be excited. Bro, baseball, like, I mean, baseball starting in May, June. Like the warm weather, six, sixty game season. I don't give a damn what Mariano Rivera says. A sixty game season is still a season. I don't, season. I don't care if it's sixty games, eighty games, a hundred. No. Games. It's still a season. To... I still get my baseball. Baseball. But my, like, like it's just so Vince McMahon to do this. <laughs> you know, like, it's just so Vince McMahon. Like, if, well, if anyone shocked by this, I'll, I, I'll ask that question in the comments. Is anyone shocked by this? Because, George, I know me and you spoke about this already. And okay. I know where you stand. And you know where I stand. And I just believe if if you have to postpone events, you postpone them due to like the, the Olympics, which is the biggest, the biggest thing you know there is. There, it's yeah. bigger than the Super Bowl, it's bigger than the NBA Finals. It's big, yeah. you know. It's the Olympics, and they're canceling that. They're moving so it. You mean they're that, moving it to the following year? Oh, we're year. just asking them. We're just asking WWE so, to move it to the summer. Back. A couple of months, like, why, why, you know, like, why can't we do it then? But I know that's going to get in the way of their crown jewel, you know, they're, they're, they're all and, world. And, and, the, and the thing is, you look at who the, who the title holders are, the, the two main <laughs> title holders, Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, Goldberg, two of the most unathletic people you could ever put in the ring. Both matches are going to go about 15 minutes combined. Combined, <laughs> combined. Combined. Not, and you're uh, you're not asking them to do a two-part show. Now now that it's going to be pre-recorded, you have to edit it in a way where Goldberg doesn't look like he's 50 years old and can't wrestle anymore. Can't wrestle anymore. You have to make sure Brock, Brock Lesnar actually cares about his match. Because most of the he times, just, when you get Brock does, the title, he, he doesn't give a damn about the match. Then um, then, yeah, yeah, go yeah, on. No, so, so now Rey Mysterio, he's in quarantine. A lot of a lot of superstars are in quarantine. Why even have it right now? You know, I'd like to see a Rey Mysterio Andrade match for the U.S. title. That would be, be two Latinos. Dream match. Yeah, that's a dream match. That, that's a that, that's a great match. Not only to put over Andrade, but just Rey Mysterio in another WrestleMania. Mysterio, WrestleMania Andrade's big. This is Andrade. I don't think people realize this is Andrade's biggest match at yes. a WrestleMania. Yes, like, and this, this is this, this is. And to have it in just the performance center, I mean, you could you could have a, a, a double whammy of, of of July, August, of WrestleMania, and SummerSlam because you can say fuck, you can even say you can even have it at the same arena. You were gonna have whatever pay per view you're gonna have before SummerSlam, and just say fuck it, we're having it there. It doesn't matter. Fuck Tampa. Fuck, fuck everything else. We're having it there. Doesn't matter, and we're gonna have a two month event. We're, we're gonna have WrestleMania week. George, July, it's, it's, it's absolutely, absolutely crazy. It's absolutely mind-boggling to me that Vince McMahon's thought process is let's do it in the performance center. Because as we sit here and talk, we got to understand, for the people who don't watch wrestling, um, let me paint a picture for you. This is like the equivalent of the Super Bowl not being aired live. It's already happened, it recorded. And we're po- and we're, we're showing it to you with nobody there. You know, there are no fans involved. Only the referee, the teams, and the coaches. You know, it's and not you're not even, watching. It's not even in the. In I'm watching the, it live. And it's not even in the announced in the stadium. stadium. It's at a yeah. It's not even. Facility. Yeah, it's at like a facility of some sort. Where it's like, closed you, off. You, like you how barely, that? You can only hear the players yell out the plays, everything. And the thing with wrestling is that you can't have it silent. 
You can, Silent. There can Literally. be so many bots. You can hear someone say, oh, elbow drop, and then boom, elbow drop. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be a great WrestleMania. This might go down as one of the worst WrestleManias of all time it's to be. for wrestling fans. It's going to be. And I'll ask you, George, as a wrestling fan, can you even imagine doing, can you even imagine the Royal Rumble without fans? It's it, you, you can't you can't have it like that. And you yeah. look you look at a, at the rival company that apparently there's no there's no rivalry. There, there it's no it, there, there's That's no ratings crap. war. There's no there's That's no war crap. going on. But all elite wrestling right now, they were supposed to have their war games today at the time of the this bet. recording, March twenty fifth. I was supposed yeah. to be there. <laughs> I was supposed see? to be there to see AEW's blood and guts their war games. It was postponed. I got my money back, but at the same time, they said it's postponed. It's not canceled. We're not going to record it in an empty arena, like this this I huge mean, match. Recorded. It. It's still going to it's still going to be live though on the WWE network. I heard it's right, still, or they're talking about that. It's going to be on, it's going to be on the WWE network, but they're going to pre-tape it because they're afraid that the country is going to go into full lockdown. Which I understand, but if you're afraid of the country going on full lockdown. Don't have the event postponed uh, we for the, the event. Exactly. Thank like, you. We, we, we understand. The fears are warranted. The fears are warranted. Yeah, but postpone sure. it. Don't have it or record it. And yeah, you, you they're, they're going to record apparently all Raw and SmackDown episodes leading past WrestleMania. They're going to record WrestleMania. So there may be some consistency in, in the shows. But at the same time, it's like, why even have it? And I know, I know they have the big mantra of it's the longest running weekly episodic TV show, but at the same but time, what, like, what, Tom, but what does that matter? What it, does that matter? It's 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 not doesn't matter jack shit at this point. No, you're putting you're putting everyone in danger because now everyone's stuck in a hotel. You don't no. know what could happen. But in, 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 to touch on what you said earlier, when they were like, "Oh, there's no rivalry," you're right. No, there is no rivalry because <laughs> AEW is clearly the better product. If if we're just talking. Straight wrestling, yeah. Um, and the fact that AEW is like, yeah, we're gonna have our big event, but you know, we're gonna postpone that because we don't want to risk the show. We don't want to risk our performers. You know, like you said, one bot goes wrong. Yeah, we all hear it. You know, like, and and the thing is too is that like AEW can always have the the blood and guts match later on in the summer. It can be a huge summer event. It can be even at, at their uh, double or nothing pay per view. It doesn't have to happen right now because it, it, it's not just some random flu anymore. This is a pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. And WWE should just say, you know what? We can take the hit this quarter because they've already lost so much money from the network. They've yes. already lost so many viewers from AEW. Yeah. Just say we'll take the hit this quarter. We'll just. Rad, we'll just keep it going until the summer, and we'll just make double our money in the summer. If you're, let me try to think how long how I want to wear this. Yeah. What sport entertainment without fans? Right, exactly, exactly. Like, <laughs> and I understand, and you know, there's some there's some cases where it's like, oh well, maybe some well some of the promos work better without fans. Yeah, but then yes. again. Like, not all the promos, not all the matches. Maybe this one rivalry that you're building up, yes. this one storyline, is great uh, without fans. Yes. But you can't base that one situation around your entire, like, card. You can't just say, okay, well, Edge and Orton, they're having a great rivalry regardless of fans. So all matches, therefore, we'll look at it like fine. We'll look, the, the one, the couple of examples we have of seeing any type of matches without fans, go back to the... The Wyatt family versus the Shield. I remember when they had that, like, out of, like, it was in, like, a park lot or something like that, yeah. just fighting. But, like, it was so bad. Like, yeah. like, it, like, I could, I could have, like, watched the match. I was just like, this ain't, this ain't what I want to see. You know, it's, and this is what it's going to look like. And this is in the performance center. And I don't know how many people have not seen what the performance center looks like, but it's not. Glamorous space, you know. And, and best believe the the cover art for this episode will be the performance center. Yes, I will put, I will put the performance center up for the y'all. see what it looks. So like. y'all y'all can see what this looks like because this is this is not a great a great venue. This no, is not this is not a, a, a this is not like an AEW. Well, okay, we'll put some, and I, I commend AEW for this. Watching Dynamite last week, 
and now this week mm-hmm. they have some some of their wrestlers on the sidelines acting as a crowd so there's some oh. noise but yeah. wwe just they make it a point just to say well you know due to unforeseen circumstances we 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 have to be in the performance center look look at our performance center look how empty it is and yeah they had maybe one episode of raw or smackdown where they're like look at the wrestling here's some wrestlemania matches and then mm-hmm. it's like, at some point it's like all right like i want i want to watch raw i don't want to watch this whatever you call this Whatever you're trying to feed, force feed them up. And, and it's know, very obvious that they're just like, all right, here's Ricochet, the guy we buried. Here's another guy we buried. We're going to team them up, and you're going to be forced to watch this. As a viewer, knowing that I've seen you bury all bury these guys, guy. and now you're suddenly giving them TV time, it's like, I don't care about them anymore. You, you know, told me not it, to care about them as a the TV show, thing. and now the you're same, telling me to care about them again. The same thing to touch on the card a little bit. The, the same reason why I don't think anyone would care when Drew McIntyre wins the championship you now yeah. because they, they they spent the better part of two years literally just having him lose to Roman yeah. repeatedly, you know, and it was just like at some point in time if you want this to make this guy look legit, you know, he has to go out there and beat these big stars. And WWE is telling me, oh well, he's not that guy, so yeah. don't cheer for this guy. And, and the like thing, said, and, the, and the thing with McIntyre. Is that when he won the Royal Rumble, you you saw in Glasgow, where he's from, oh. there were pubs, bars everywhere cheering for him, watching the Rumble. Mm-hmm. People in the re- arena were actually cheering that someone else is gonna that may get a push. When you push. don't have that, then it's like, all right, it does it doesn't get the same feel anymore. No. And sure, I, mm-hmm. I think I think McIntyre is gonna beat Lesnar because Lesnar is now a high school coach. He has his own personal life. But at the same time, it's like. Dude, like we we want these moments, but we can't have these moments if if no one's gonna be there. This is, like I don't know how big our audience is on UFC, but I, I'm a pretty avid U, UFC watcher, and I watched the card they put out there where there was no fans in the arena. Let me tell Brazil. you, I think it was in yeah, Brazil. it was in Brazil, yeah. and it, it was just weird, you know. Like, and this is a like a, a sport where the fans don't really make or break the fight. You're yeah. really more focused on the fight. And it was still weird. Yeah. You know? Now, like, imagine watching WrestleMania with no audience. You're just going to be like, what, what and, is and this? a lot of the time, especially in WWE, the audience makes the difference. There are some, you, can, you can make the case for some uh, companies and promotions that the, uh, the audience plays a part, but not really. But WWE, Man, listen. the audience plays a huge part. Listen, I mean, like, just when you hear some of the more popular and over super, like, when AJ themes, yeah. themes on his audience, you hear everyone, they will want none. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, like, you know, you're not going to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to hear the music playing and AJ Styles, and I'm like, you know, like, <laughs> it's cool. You know, you're going to be like, eh, hey, not the thing. Or Bailey when she was a baby face doing her whole thing. Imagine her doing that with no audience. And it's, it's, it's gonna look weird. And, and I, th- I think this whole WrestleMania is is, is not gonna go well. No. I think either either people are gonna watch the first day and either either gonna be very entertained by whatever they put out, or they're gonna be like, "This is weird. I'm not gonna watch this anymore." And the thought is, yeah, finally something something to watch. You know, it's WrestleMania. We can watch this. We miss sports, but we miss sports with like the fans going to the games, watching the, the full game, sport, a full experience. Sp- a full experience. Mm-hmm. And it's like we don't want to see just something that was obviously rushed or obviously put together at the last minute because we had to meet this deadline. Deadline, and it's like the NFL, which it's it's just an NFL draft, yeah. and they're and they're they don't want to do it because they won't have people there. Yeah, you know, and the, the, it's just a draft. You know, who cares if you have people there? But yeah. you know, and, other companies, other companies get it. And Vince yeah. McMahon, on the other hand, is just like. And, and the crazy thing about Vince McMahon is he even said, there were reports saying him, that he said himself, Vince said that he doesn't want to have WrestleMania in an empty arena. Well, arena. someone convinced him otherwise. Otherwise. He, does, he doesn't want someone to. Someone told him otherwise. Pretty much Vince knew everything that he had, to, he had to do, but someone had to convince him otherwise. And let's be real. Anyone can visit that the man of anything. Yeah, and it's. It's it's bad. Like, and and you bring up the NFL draft. I mean, Adam Schefter brought up a great great idea that the I think the NFL should use is 
Have the draft be have each round be a single day of the week. So have the have the first round on a Sunday, second because you have seven rounds, you can fill up a whole week. Whole week. And then you can go through each round, go through analysis in each depth. Day, yeah, make each, them, day gets make each round feel like a big deal, even when there is no one there. But if no one's there, it doesn't matter. You can have like, the players there, but people are gonna watch, and people are gonna be like, watch. "Yo, roll! It's the first round of the NFL draft. Uh-huh. We're watching this right now, this right now." Which is a good idea. We could probably do a live stream or something, you know, yeah. on the day of the NFL can, draft. There's so much more, but doing that because mm-hmm. it's live. It's yeah. It's not. We're not like, oh well, I got on my phone that so and so got picked already, so they're <laughs> gonna show it like five minutes later on TV. Later. There's yeah. not gonna be any leaks. Leaks or anything, and that's what's going to happen with WrestleMania. Ultimately, there's going to be someone that's going to leak all the matches, all the results. Always happens. It's going to be well. I already know what's going to happen, and then it's and anytime. Then looking, yeah. Then once you know what's going to happen, you're looking to get entertained. But because of the setup, you may get entertained, you may not. But it's not the experience that you really wanted. Yeah, you. There was. I um, mean, spoilers in in wrestling has always been a thing. If especially when it comes to pre recorded stuff. It, all it takes of one person is to be like, oh, yeah, so, yeah, this is what happens, and that happens, and yeah, that happens. And, and the problem with WWE is that when someone when someone reports a spoiler, they mm-hmm. act like, oh, well, you already know you, you already know the spoiler, so we're yeah. just going to pretend that you know already, and we're just right. going to move along. Well, Whereas other promotions can say, oh, that may be reported, but we're not going to act, we're going to act like you still have no idea, we have no idea, yeah. uh, we're going to try to... We're just gonna try There's to play e- the story out and try to surprise you. There would be even a time I remember, I can't remember exactly which NXT event it was, but it was an NXT event, and something I, it had to be somebody backstage because then obviously nobody knew anything. Yeah. If you didn't work for the company, you probably, it, there was no way you would have known, you know. But somebody said something, and something got out, and they ended up changing the ending to that match. Yeah, based on Triple H hearing that there was, you know. The, the spoiler had got leaked, so he he kind of swerved everybody with the whole the whole ending, and I, you know you, that's stressful on your your wrestlers. Yes, yeah, you no, know, for, for them to have to like execute under pressure like that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, these guys get paid ridiculous amount of money, oh, you yeah. know, and people like Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, AJ, you know, really great competitors. They they could do that. You know, I, I wouldn't be worried about that. Um, I just don't think it's going to be a great event. The WrestleMania, I'll watch because we'll probably cover it on, on an episode off the bench. We'll probably talk about it. Yeah. And we'll have it, we'll, we'll wash our hands with the situation. <laughs> um, but I, I don't don't look for much, guys. I'm sorry. It's, it's just nothing going to be. It's not going to be exciting. You're I'm not, not going to get excited. I mean, I, I already told the viewers and the listeners, like I'm going to watch it, but it's it's for them. It's for it's, yeah. So I can talk talk about it with them. Dumb. Guys. Yeah. It's it's not it's not because I'm openly out there trying to call people and say mm-hmm. WrestleMania's on, because at this point I don't care. No. <laughs> no. At this point I'm just like, all right, like half the matches that were originally announced are now canned. Now you're putting out random matches, and apparently now you're gonna do a lot of movie style matches so you can edit it properly. Like no, like that's not what. That's not the wrestling gonna, I grew up with. We're going to get Darth. Va- we're going to get Darth now. Vader. Darth Vader versus like the Fiend. <laughs> like and the Super, casket Superman match. John Cena versus the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Right. In in Gotham City, City. in front of a green screen. Like that's 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 the WrestleMania I wanted. Like this is what we're going to get, man. It's, it's what we're going to get. Taker yeah. versus AJ Styles, Dawn of Justice. It feels. <laughs> like, I feel bad for like the Rhea Ripley's. You know, the NXT newcomers, this was their big WrestleMania. Now, this, see, is, this is their high, like, because honestly, people don't understand that the, the bonus checks you get from WrestleMania I mean, are the highest ridiculous. checks you're going to get from anyone. Anyone, which, you know, is why a lot of people stick around and deal with the stuff yeah. that Vince does. But it's like, he's willing to literally sabotage that all just to get the product off, even if, like... Last year, what made WrestleMania so great is the special, not just because Kofi won the championship. It wasn't just that. It was the fact that the fans reacted. Yeah. You the know, fan, the fans were the ones behind Kofi. There was a whole Kofi. story, Kofi Mania. Mania. Like, told a great story with it, even story. though it was at, by accident. 
Yeah, it was. Like, it was a whole. The fans wanted it. Wanted it. It was clearly it, over. There was no was, way you can't give it the trophy. It, yeah, there was no way you gonna uh, allow Jay and Brian to walk out of there with that. Yeah, there was no way. And I, it, it, I was, I was there at that WrestleMania. The the crowd, the place was, was electric. Mm-hmm. And that, that uh, yeah. plays a lot. McIntyre is just gonna win, and it's just gonna be a dead silence. Whoever's, like, well, whoever's the announcer is gonna say, "Oh, new WWE champion, champion. Drew McIntyre," and then it's just yeah. And, and right, you know what's really out. gonna also suck? You gotta look at it like this. You gotta look at it how the way I'm gonna look at it. Even when he won the NFC Championship, he got attacked immediately by Adam Cole. He didn't get it really. Easy. He didn't enjoy nothing. You know, right. you got the championship. He got attacked, and then now he's gonna win another championship. Nobody's gonna be there. It's like, yeah, I won this championship. Nobody's here. <laughs> you know, and, and, and that's that's terrible for him because he, he definitely he's definitely gotten gotten around the the promotions around the world to get back to this. Sure, point. for sure. But it's sure. It's I would sad. argue he would he never, he, need, he like he never needed to go back. Yeah, he, he was doing so well on the indie he, circuit. He was that so it was, over in TNA. That they, like, they would have given him all the money. <laughs> like I'm just like, this is it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's that's my that's that's my two cents again on these up these new uh, upcoming versions of WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Whatever, whatever WrestleMania we're gonna get, this isn't the pirate R WrestleMania I was excited for. No. Rob Rob Gronkowski apparently is hosting it. I mean, I guess we'll that's see a way how to... exciting that is without a fan without a fan base to, to hype him up. To hype him up, but I mean, I, 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 for the sake of you know the people performing, I I hope they do something where there's like at least a couple of family members or something. Yeah, you know, like they have to it, do social distance. Of course, you know, uh, they have them on top of each other. You know, something. You know, nah, one can only hope. Anyway. This has been Jorge from Off the Bench. Yes. It's uh, This is Roland, live from Virginia. Sponsor <laughs> is Diplomacy Clothing. Negotiate with Style. Links are in the description on YouTube. Y'all, thank you for listening to this episode. Thank you for putting up with me and Roland's rants on WrestleMania. <laughs> Please follow on Spotify. Like. And subscribe on YouTube. Hit the bell like that. I'm a bus back. If you want more content, and you know what you put up. She got complicated, but I'm feeling myself. See the real of myself. Thanks for listening to Off the Bench. We'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys.